minimizing and downsizing in style. That's the basic idea of tiny houses. These movable units can blend in everywhere, and not only on dry land. This stylish little wooden shack is in the Steiermark in Austria. It's fully waterproofed and serves as a weekend retreat for Martina Fabricius and Peter Niss from Graz. Just 22 square meters big, it comprises a living room, bedroom, kitchen and bathroom. Everything the couple needs, in other words. You don't have to waste time tidying up and clearing things away. You can focus on the essentials. It's so much easier, very compact. You're in the middle of the great outdoors. There's less to keep clean. The New Nomads is the title of a sumptuous coffee table book about houses exactly like theirs. Editor Sven Eman went all over the world looking for what he calls temporary architecture, including this miniature tower, egg-shaped capsules, tree houses, designer yurts. Simple, stripped-down living spaces as a lifestyle choice. We live in an age of excess. There's an excess of everything. And when there's too much of something, there's inevitably a backlash. If you go back to basics, you're also freeing yourself. Another point of tiny houses is maximizing mobility. Martina and Peter's house in Austria was delivered by truck from Spain. Relocating it is simple. Owning a home like this means you're not tied down to one place. We don't know where we'll be in two, three or five years' time, so it was important to us to have a home we could take with us wherever we go. The couple belong to a generation that feels at home and works in every corner of the globe. Today's creatives thrive on a lifestyle that sees them constantly on the move, and architects are responding. The renowned Italian architect Renzo Piano designed this micro-house, which he calls the Diogene Cabin. Or there's the Loft Cube, by German designer Werner Eislinger. I think people have an innate restlessness. They always have. People shouldn't have to feel that they're putting down roots once and for all. They should be able to change their mind. The popularity of caravans is also growing. The German-designed Sealander is a hybrid mobile trailer, mini home and motorboat, perfect for those who can't decide if they prefer camping or boating. Just four meters long, it feels surprisingly spacious. It gives you total freedom. It's also very cleverly designed, so it appeals to anyone with a penchant for good design. Plus, of course, it allows you to be completely spontaneous and flexible. Because if you're camping near a lake or the sea and think to yourself, I wish we could hit those open waters, you can. The Sealander has an electric motor with six horsepower. In most countries, you don't even need a boat license. The original blueprint for a floating caravan was developed by an industrial design student. The idea of traveling around the countryside with family or friends appeals to mankind's need to be mobile and flexible. It gives you the freedom to decide exactly where you want to go, where to drop anchor. The walking house by Danish design collective N55 goes one step further, literally. It's built on six hydraulic legs that can walk, albeit slowly. Tailor-made for those restless nomads among us. <laughs>